And joining me now is Louise Tanheimer, a member of the Winnemucca family. Louise, thank you so much for taking the time to come down from Portola to speak with us today. It's my pleasure. You are a relative of Sarah Winnemucca's. I am. I've known about Sarah since I was a s small child. My mother was always telling us that we were part of the Winnemucca family. And how was your mother related to Sarah? Her, uh, she said that her mother was Sarah's sister. Okay, so she was so the niece. Jenny Winnemucca was Sarah's sister. And that would make you a grandniece to, right. to Sarah Winnemucca. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you were telling me earlier that you don't really follow all those distinctions. My mother always referred uh, to Sarah as her sister, but in Indian, in the Indian culture, a sister, uh, a cousin could be a sister. I have, I have uh, cousins down in Shores right now that call me their, that I'm their sister, and we understand that. Sister, okay. Mm -hmm. And when um, Sarah was was young and your and your mother was young, um, they people might have been living in the kind of thing that we're in front of now, the, the right. wiki up mm -hmm. that would have been found on the. Um, it could be in the Indian country, right? Either that, or it could have been covered with uh, rabbit skin. It would, as I, in some of these photographs right, some that, of you, these that photos you have here, here. photographs right. of your of your family mm -hmm. members that will show your. Um, Winnemucca people. Right. So relatives of Sarah. Right. And well, Louise, you said that when you were young, um, your mother would take you um, to various places that Sarah might have been yes, earlier. Right. Uh, we, she would talk and we went up to the uh, railroad station at, in Winnemucca. And that's where my grandmother, Jenny, lived in that area. But she worked with a, uh, for a Chinese laundry and a number of Paiute women worked there because they did their laundry by washboard and uh, Sarah would come by when she was in town and never failed to stop and talk to these ladies but and they were always in awe of her and maybe just a little bit shy because this was Sarah but Sarah was a, wouldn't take a back seat to anyone and, but she encouraged them in their efforts. And my mother idolized Sarah, and though she never saw her in person, it's only from what her mother, my grandmother, told her. So there were a lot of people who revered Sarah during oh, her time. At that time, oh yes. She had, it sounds like, kind of a star status. She was oh, going she back did. to I, Washington, and she was performing. I, I think of her in that, in that light. I could just see her on those stages in San Francisco promoting the welfare of her people. Louise, you've given a lot of thought to this relative of yours, Sarah Winnemucca. What in your own mind do you think was the essential thing that she was all about during her lifetime? Education. She thought that with education, this would be the beginning of a new world for the Paiute people. And to that end, she established, a, established schools, a school, an exemplary school. And you also, Louise, brought along a very special blanket today. And can you talk about that? Well, Sarah also wanted to bring peace uh, between the nations. And uh, I brought along this blanket, which is a symbol of the, uh, it has a peace pipe here. And this, I think, Sarah would have enjoyed. So the peace pipe was was a central mission the, the, for the, the notion for of peace, peace. between sh the, the uh, between him and her dad, her father, and she believed that right. to to that to be able to get to that through education. Absolutely. Do you think it was hard for Sarah at oh. that time with the mission that she had for herself? I think it was terribly difficult due to the fact that women just didn't expose themselves in that way back in those days. And yet she went out and, and, and did that. where this came from, I do not know. Did she pass that spirit along to oh, your yes. family? Oh, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Others of you feel oh. that a kind of a calling to make things different? Oh, I think we all did. I think my, uh, my older brother was chairman of the, of the tribal council, and I was chairman of the tribal council for two years, the only one at, in Fort Yuma. And, uh, it, you know, we, we just kind of 
did things. And uh, then when I went to work for the state of California, I was a counselor there, uh, employment counselor, and promoted the Native American. So Sarah passed on a sp oh, the spirit did. that she had. Oh, she did. Oh, she did. For you, what is the most important thing about getting this statue back into Washington? Well, Sarah, I believe, as did my mother I know when she talked, and from some of my Indian beliefs, um, must be put to rest. She's been wandering around the world, and now is a chance for her to be laid to rest in a place where she wanted to be, in Washington, D.C. Where she could make a difference. Where she could make a difference to her, as she, as her people. I was going to say Don Crowden, but that was years ago. No, of her people. We need, we need to have someone shine up there. And when people come through and they're looking at that statue, what is it that you hope is going through their, their souls and their hearts and their minds? Well, if they could, re could see and know about the history, they'd say this lady was way before her time. She was a leader oh, in her time, and she was a leader, and she was oh, before her time. right, and outspoken. Well, thank you very much, and the important thing now is to get that statue built, and coming up next, we'll be speaking with the people who are going to make it happen. Sarah represented uh, the Indian people, and the, uh, what she represented was uh, her strive that uh, education would be uh, continued and uh, the key to the Indian people's ways and their life is education and uh, and our, our people are still fighting to this day uh, for education and and we're getting it and uh, I'm just uh, real thankful to be a part of uh, the descendants of Sarah as a uh, great great grandniece and um, Education is the key. Gather around. Now everyone, this is an exhibit of an Ice Age mammal. Now long ago in Nevada, these ancient elephants rummaged through springs and stream beds for food. Imagine at one time, herds of these huge animals roamed in what might have been your own backyard. You'd be amazed.